Um, uh, hello, Mikael. Hello. Hi, Mikael. Hi, thank you for joining us today. Hi, thank you. Um, Mikael, let, let's talk about um, this uh, program, which is Flight Radar 24. How accurate is the flight tracker on Flight Radar 24? It's, uh, it's very accurate. The information is coming from, from the GPS on board the, the aircraft, so, so just a couple of meters. Uh, it could be only a couple of meters wrong, not more. Okay, um, so, so what can we, or what, what do you know about flight MH370? Uh, we know that it departed uh, 1641 UTC time, uh, that's UK time, mm -hmm. uh, and that we lost the signal from it 1720, so it's after 40 minutes about. Uh, when it was like in the middle between Malaysia and uh, Vietnam. That's what we know. It was flying on 35,000 feet and, and the signal just disappeared, uh, which I think uh, has something to do with something happening very fast on board this aircraft. It, it was not a slow descent or, or, or something happening very slow. It, it was a very fast we're, we're, we're something to happening very fast. I, I think we're trying to learn the situation as much as possible. When you say that yeah. um, the, the, the um, what tracker just disappeared, what, what do you mean by that? What, what usually happens when something like that happens, when it just disappears from the radar? Uh, that means that we didn't receive any signal from the, from the transponder uh, anymore. And, and, and can we pinpoint the exact location of the aircraft right now, or can we replay the track, uh, the flight track of the aircraft um, when it took off um, early this morning? Yes, we, we could uh, replay the, the, the track, the 40 minutes of flight. Uh, we receive the signals from the aircraft every second. One, per, one time per second we receive a signal from the aircraft. But there's so much data, so much aircraft, so much data sent. So we only save data once per minute. Mm. So it could, so, so if we saved like half a minute before the, half a second, no, half a minute before the incident, the aircraft could have flown another one, two, three, four, five kilometers after the position that we have saved. So it could be accurate within four to five kilometer radius from where it was last seen on the flight radar 24, right? Yes. Yes. Did, did you share this information with uh, anyone, with the uh, Ministry of Transportation or with the DCA or NTSB? We have the share it on, on our Twitter account that have 80,000 followers. Mm -hmm. uh, we shared it uh, like 12 hours ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that's what we have done. Usually when something like this happens, when, when um, say, um, a, a flight takes off from A to point B or, and yeah. flight radar tracks it, um, if the flight sort of disappears from the flight radar 24, is there a warning system that will be triggered in your system? No, no. We don't have global coverage, so we don't have coverage in all areas. So, so it happens from time to time that, that aircraft disappear. That's nothing unusual. But uh, this time in this area, when we checked afterwards, we had good coverage and, and, and all the receivers were working. So, so in this case, uh, we can't explain why the signal was lost. Okay, um, thank you very much, Michael. But, but before that, I, I want to I ask you about maybe the last location of the flight um, MH370. If you can share with us if there's a, if there's a last location that we can maybe you know, help us to guide in search for MH370. Yeah, I, I have the longitude and latitude of the of uh, of this location, and it's about latitude. It's six point eight. Six point eight. Six point eight. And longitude is one o three point five. One o three point five. That's 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 quite a rough estimation of where the location is right now, right? Yes. Okay. Um, thank you very much, Mikhail, and we'll keep in yeah. touch. And, and, and we, we want to know uh, how to understand, and we want to understand what is happening right now and how we can further um, relay news to the general public. Thank you very much, Mikhail. Okay. Thank you.